Welcome back to the channel guys, thanks for joining me here for another episode at Mike's Mods and Customs. What we have here today is a very, very, very special episode. As you, know, as you notice from the thumbnail, this is the Miss You Opa. We Miss You Opa build. So, I chose the Hot Rod Pickup Truck from Tootsie Toy. And uh, we went ahead and got this thing stripped down, got those wheels off, repainted it, get some awesome details. Um, You'll see coming up here pretty soon how I got the wheels off, which is how I've, I've seen Opa do it. And, oh, man, he makes it look simple. I'm lucky I didn't lose a finger trying to do this. I got the wheels off. Couldn't exactly save them. I think I burnt them. But uh, I got the wheels off anyways, the way that Opa shows us how to do it, um, without injury. And we ended up doing a wheel swap. So we got that uh, cleaned off. We got it put into the stripper. Cleaned up some uh, casting lines there. And then um, we went ahead and, and did some detail work. And if you remember back to any of Opa's videos, he states a lot. It's all about the details. So I tried to focus as much as I could on the details on this thing. So I went ahead and cleaned up some of the casting lines once we got it stripped and cleaned out. Just taking a quick evaluation of what I have here for details to get done. And I had a lot of fun with this one. As we go through this build, if everybody could just please uh, take a moment and keep Opa and his entire family in your in your thoughts and prayers. He's going to need as much help as he can as he pulls through these uh, health concerning situations that are going on. I don't really know exactly all of the details. But we do all know that we haven't seen Opa on, on here uh, making any videos in a while and we miss him for sure. So it'll be nice to get him back. If anything, hopefully these videos will put a little bit of a smile on his face. So, I wanted a, fl a flame paint job scheme. So, first time for me, there's the wheels that I used. I believe those came off of a matchbox. So, I did some hand painting to get my flame look. So, I hand brushed white, yellow, orange, and red in a faded f format to get that color you see there. And then we went ahead and used these uh, decals for stencils. I put these down over the top of those faded colors that I hand brushed on. And those came from a uh, nail art supplier. So for the, uh, for the ladies in their nail designs, I have a variety of, a wide variety of many different nail art decals and stencils that I use on these 164 scale cars for, for these uh, paint schemes and details. So there you see I have the stencils on over the hand-painted faded colors that, I've, that I applied. So you should be, should be catching on to what, what's going on here. So now I'm going to spray and paint over the entire casting, the main body color that we're going to have. And then we go back and take the decals off. But look at that mess. Not so good. Guess what? Back in the stripper it goes. Yep, I screwed that up. So, as we watch this here a little bit, this is round two, <laughs> doing the same thing. So, the mistake I made the first time was I sprayed the paint on too heavy. So, if any of you are thinking about trying to do this, here's my tip for you. Very light coats on the paint. Don't let it sit for too, too long. And when you peel these stencils off, peel them off nice and slow so the mistakes I made was I went too heavy with the paint I think I did one really light coat but then I did a really heavy coat after that and then I let it set overnight and dry before I peeled the stencils off and when I did all the detail from the flames came off in one big chunk so round two I did exact same stuff put the decals on and then I sprayed like three really light coats of that purple color. And then I only let that set for maybe 15 or 20 minutes. And then I went back and very slowly, very gently, as you see here, I removed each one of those stencils. And that's, that came out the way I wanted it to. So you'll see here uh, very soon. Apologize for not keeping this in the camera frame I was a hundred percent focused on slowly peeling those decals off 
so I did not mess up the flame work again. Because now at this point, I have the top of the firewall, firewall completely done and it looks mint. So now I don't definitely don't want to screw up from here on out because then I have to start all over again. Not something I wanted to do. So you see there I got the stencil lifted on the edge. Then I just grab the very front edge of it with my X-Acto and slowly peel it off. And there we have it. That came out mint. It's exactly what I was looking for. So now, one more side. We're just gonna do the same thing over here. Nice and slow and gentle. And then we start to focus on the rest of the details because as we know, Opa says, it's all about the details, boys. So we're gonna focus on the details on this one. I'm gonna try to do Opa proud. Really hoping that he'll be able to sit and enjoy and watch some of these videos, if not all of them. And get a little bit of a smile, a little bit of enjoyment. I have his address. I really want to send him this car. But I think I'd just rather wait until we get a little bit of an update on his condition. And there's a close-up. Exactly what I was looking for. Now we focus on the rest of the details. You can see here I got the firewall painted in a gloss black. I had to go with a Chevy Orange for the motor, being a Chevy guy. It just says hot rod pickup truck, doesn't say what make. So we uh, painted the valve covers, aluminum, and the intake aluminum. I left the tricarb set up on the top of it, same color purple as the main body color. And then we went ahead and did some more detail with the, uh, the radiator. We got the radiator painted black. I chromed out the tanks. I chromed out the exhaust pipes. We got the aluminum leaf spring going across the front. And I also painted within the uh, bed. I painted a, a brown to simulate wood. And I went back with a dry brush of a black to uh, give it even a little bit better look for a wooden bed on the inside. Now this is something new for me here. Watching uh, Brendan's videos over there at Live or Diecast. I see that he uses JB Weld to install his his axles and his wheel swaps that he does. I thought that was pretty intriguing. Not quite as, I don't know if it makes sense, not as messy as super glue. Um, I like the idea of the, the JB Weld, especially on this setup where I have such a wide open area. I can always go back and sand it, file it, and clean it up. So I just put a little daub of uh, JB Weld on the inside of those tabs that hold the axles on on these Tootsie Toy Cars. So you'll see, I take my little pin there and I get it down inside where the axle sits and I just pull it through and that leaves a little daub of JB Weld right there. So then I take my axle and I press it down into those grooves. It then now sits into the JB Weld and then I will come back and put some JB Weld over the top of the axle, encasing the axle itself in JB Weld. So the downside to this, I guess, is the dry time. The super glue, we can dry it right away with the baking soda formula and have it be ready to go right away. But I try not to rush these things. So I do this. I let the JB Weld sit overnight and into the next day. So not quite 24 hours, but maybe close to 16 or 18 hours. And uh, then I can file it down, smooth it out, clean it up a little bit. So it looks a little bit more presentable on the underside. And I can see potentially going forward that you could actually create like axle housings and stuff. It could be kind of neat. So after I clean it up, I do go ahead and I paint the whole underside of that uh, casting right there with a flat black to give it a chassis look underneath. And then very soon here we will see a turntable display of the completed hot rod pickup truck. Tootsie Toy hot rod pickup truck. So as the JB Weld is curing there, I'm spinning the wheels as it cures to make sure that the wheels themselves stay free moving. So there's our first glimpse of the completed project on the turntable. Tried to pay attention to as much of the details as I could, trying to make Opa proud here. We got those wheels. I do believe they came off of a matchbox. I've had them hanging around for a while. So we got the Tootsie Toy Hot Rod Pickup Truck. So as we're looking at these final results here, I'm just going to ask once again that everybody uh, 
take a moment, keep uh, Opa and his family in your thoughts and prayers. Been fighting for a little while now. We haven't seen a video from him since December. So, thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for joining me here for another episode at Mike's Mods and Customs.